Hi, this is Becca Michael. I've had a couple of questions about this assignment uh, for this week, so um, it's due today. This is a little late, uh, but if you're having problems with it, this is uh, the assignment to look in Appendix B of your textbook to download the files for your book. You can find that uh, at this website here. If you go to Downloads, Find Your Book, Click that and do all book files and then download. Uh, once you download, you will have a self extracting zip. Unzip it. By default, it will go to a folder called Muroc. So look for C Muroc and all the files will be there. Once you have the files, close this, then you can open up SQL Server Management Studio, uh, log in as user SA or as your Windows user and then you want to open a file you're gonna find your Muroc folder here's my folder SQL Server 2012 the exercise is chapter 3 but first you need your database so here I'm gonna go into databases and I'm gonna go into create AP It'll take a minute to open. All right, here we go. So use master. That's the database you're starting in. Um, if you have this selected, it's the same thing as having a use statement when this is open. Uh, what this is saying is if you already have a database named AP, drop it and then can create it. Um, so when you try to run these files, probably the problem that you're having, if, if you run it and you get an error, is because this path is not going to be correct. That needs to be the path to your SQL Server instance. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's just see. So I pressed F5. All right. Incorrect syntax, near containment. Uh, I've got a bunch of bunch of errors here. Really, all I want to do is create the database. I have a bunch of properties here to create the database. Alter database, set all these values, and then create some tables. So I can go through each error and figure out what's going on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of this. I'm going to create my database, which I can do in this statement. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to click Execute. Great, database is created. I'm going to right click on databases and do a refresh. There I've got AP, so I'm good. So now I'm going to get rid of all of this down to where I start to create my tables. It's not that these statements are wrong. It's just that I would have to alter them, well not these specifically, but the, the paths above, I would have to alter to make it work. Um, so now I'm saying use AP, this is the database that I'll be using, and then create my tables. So now let's try to run this. All right, so you see here at the bottom, one row, one row, as long as I don't see any errors here, I should have everything created correctly. No errors. It's a lot of feedback. So you have to trust me when I say there's no errors. Uh, so that we don't go through that. So then I'm going to expand AP, I'm going to expand tables. Here are all my tables. And then I'm going to right click on one of them, select top 1000 rows. Here I have all the information that I should have. 